Hello, these are the Lean4 samples, and I'm going to show you how to get them running in a Gitpod. We actually have a custom Gitpod script here that will install Lean for you, so things are even easier. This is using the default Gitpod virtual machine image, and after a few seconds, you'll see a terminal window pop up called Install Lean. And it's really quick because all of this is in the cloud, so it's already there. It's also modified the uh, home path with this addition, which means uh, this terminal can't find lean, so you close that one. What you then do is go to File Open Folder because the samples are designed to be opened like that, each sample individually. When Hello World comes up inside, here I'm using the VS Code Editor. You can see lean is already there and already working, so we're good to go. Now, if you open a new terminal, you can also do the command line thing, which is lake build. And now I can say build bin hello and run the lean program or lean-run main.lean. Everything's good. It's uh, well, last night's build. Awesome. Okay. So that's pretty quick. In about a minute, I'm up and running with Lean. Uh, let's look at another sample. The Rubik's Cube sample is really cool, and it requires one extra step that you can do from a terminal window. If you look at the readme there, it tells you about this step here that needs to be run manually. So we're going to go to the terminal window, and we'll run that. This is doing uh, some work with npm, Node.js. The default virtual machine image from GitHub I.O. has npm installed already. This takes, um, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. There we go. We can now open the sample and put your cursor on the last line. And what's happening is it's going to load up the widget, the custom widget that's designed here to display a Rubik's Cube. Give it a second to get all of that ready. There we go. You can actually do these different moves here, and then you can also pin this so that you can go back and edit the actual movements, and you can rotate the face forwards one more step by copying and pasting that here, and we'll see this front face rotate. Pretty cool. All right, and so now you can see the terminal works. Lake and Lean are installed, and the samples are working. And so hopefully you find this to be a convenient way to get going quickly with these Lean4 samples.